Hi everyone, it's Dr. Crack. Today I'm going to show you how to drape like a pro. After this, you will become an expert draper. And hopefully after this video, your draping goes from that to this. You don't want eyelashes photobombing your videos or contaminating your sterile field. There are five steps. Step one. After the eye has been cleansed and prepped with a antiseptic solution, make sure that the eyelids, including the eyelashes, are dry. Step two, hold the drape with your hand that correlates with the eye you're going to operate on. If you're operating on the right eye, hold the drape with your right hand. If it's a left eye surgery, hold the drape with your left hand. This keeps things in order during the hustle and bustle of your surgery day. The blue band of the fluid containment pouch needs to be by the patient's ear. With the opposite hand, hold a sterile cotton tip, wax cell, a sterile paper from the drape or draping scissors. Step three, inspect the adhesive portion of the drape. The adhesive portion may be small and circular, and sometimes it's large and rectangular. Assess where the eye will ideally be positioned. Create a fold where you expect the medial canthus to be. This will ensure proper centration of the adhesive. It will also create rigidity in the drape, which will help you position it properly within the eyelids. Step four, ask the patient to open their eyes, both of them, and without moving their head, they should look downwards towards their toes. With the opposite hand, hold your sterile instrument or your sterile object, whether it's the cotton tip, wax cell, Use that instrument to hold the upper lid up as the patient looks down. Do not come down on the eye from above as it will make the patient flinch. It's best to bring the drape from the side. Start temporarily. Bring the drape over the eye. With the drape, retract the lower eyelid down. The drape rigidity from the fold is helpful here. After you retract the lower eyelid inferiorly, rotate or roll the drape superiorly over the upper eyelid. And don't unfold the drape quite yet. Before you do that, press down on the adhesive portion of the drape to make sure it has completely opposed the underlying skin. Then unfold the drape. Step five, grab the drape scissors and eyelid speculum. Cut a slit through the drape, but make sure you are watching the tip of your scissors so that you don't accidentally scratch the cornea. When you are over the cornea, make sure you are tenting the drape up and away from the cornea so that you don't accidentally scratch it. But don't tent it up too much because you don't want to remove the adhesive drape from the eyelid skin. Placing some BSS within the slit can help protect the cornea and it also helps the scissors glide through the adhesive. After the slit has been created, open the eyelid speculum just slightly wider than the interpalpebral width. Next, pull away one of the eyelids, slide in the lid speculum in a manner that causes the drape to fold over and around the eyelid margin. Now repeat for the other eyelid. Then you can adjust the tension of the speculum to open the eyelid as much as necessary while maintaining patient comfort. If you're a beginner or you have a very difficult patient to drape, consider using Steri strips on the eyelashes prior to draping. It's very helpful when a patient is draped properly. When not draped properly, eyelashes will get in the way, there will be more secretions on the ocular surface, and there's more risk of contamination into the eye. Whether you are a surgical tech, a nurse, or a surgeon, it's a skill you need to know. I'm always very impressed when I'm working with a nurse or surgical tech and they drape properly. Also, when recording surgeries, the last thing you want is to be photobombed by misdirected lashes. So here's to your videos with perfect draping and perfect patient outcomes. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family.
with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too?